Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of our project and I think that this is the final episode of this project we are going to add the export data inside the, as I said inside the export file so the export data is simple and we have already the data we have already added the data so it is the same thing as, as we have in this table so just one thing to generate excel data so to make sure that you don't have any any css class so because uh, if you have any if you have any css classes or style inside your inside your file you will you will get you will get uh, errors like the one that we have that we have uh, that we had in the last episode like this one so if you have any styling or classes says classes you will get this html is an invalid html file so be sure and be and uh, be careful and check your all your classes here and remove them so this one remove it so you, so you use only the the html only the raw html so here remove this one so this class let's remove we have the same class let's remove it so let's check here if we have something okay and here also we have the same one so let's remove it here also we have this class for the icon also remove any icon that you have inside your code here also okay and i think that we have a lot of fonts where it's bold so let's remove all these classes let's go so here we don't have anything so as i said before uh, we will export the data to uh, we will export data to excel let's add another file here this file will be f uh, another row here this row will be for the for the total here we give it a call span of five and here we display report from starts from starts dates to and dates so we will export also this and the second column or the second cell will have will have the total and here we give it the dollar sign <coughs> so let's check again and see what we have here so i am going to to send once again the data to the export file to the generate function so we have we have the same error i am going to, to go to reports so i will i will display uh, new reports and then we will we will try to send data to the function so here we have the data and let's export to excel as you can see the file the excel file is exported here if i click on this file it will be opened using microsoft excel so it will take time to be displayed waiting for the file to be opened we will add fine our final touches so we will add some final touches to our project so in the welcome page we will add so here in the welcome page let's move i will sh i will see what we have let me check what we have in the we in the welcome page when we launch to the page so we have these lines let's so let's remove this let's remove this ones 
so here in the welcome page let's remove this contents here so here we have Laravel I will change it to restaurants restaurants you can give it any name I will put XXX does the XX does not doesn't have any meaning as you can see now before we continue this is the data is displayed inside Excel file we have the menu we have the table we have the waiter and we have the quantity the total the payment statue and the payment type and here we have the as you can see down here we have the reports I think I have a typo here the reports from uh, the dates and to the end and we we have here the total of all the all the order as you can see just to save this because I will provide the source code inside github so just to not have any error I will add this the E here for the report so as I said let's remove this one let's move this one this links and as I said the XX doesn't have any meaning just you can put any restaurant you want because for me I don't have any name for now but you can do any name we also will ha have uh, an icon here the icon will be the hamburger and we will give it a class of fa uh, x x3 so let's check the home page what we have here so as you can see here is the name but I think that the icon uh, because we did not because we did not uh, provide the, the font awesome link inside the home page so the home page doesn't does not extend the so I will copy this line doesn't extend up uh, the file up that is already inside the layout it has its own CSS so I will take the link to so font awesome so now we have this icon here if we move to the home page here we have the report sales manager here we have the name and here the logout let's let's change this name also also we will have the same thing as here we'll have the name let's let's copy this one and bring it to the up and inside the name here we can remove this one and put the name that we have here just change the icon size we put the small size and here let's check so as you can see so this is our projects we have the we have finished our projects we have all the as you can see we have all the functionality our old functionality we have the menus tables let's check if we have forgot something we have the tables we have the waiters everything is working as expected if we go back we have here the sales as you can see it says we have we can add sales here and display the reports we can update uh, an order we can display the order as you can see so everything is working as expected we can move to the all sales all all orders here we have the all sales we can add we can update or remove also and the final thing that we have we have done is the reports so we can generate reports we can choose as we have done between dates and generate reports and we can as I said we can export to Excel so this is our 
projects hope you did enjoy this projects if this is the first time you are watching this channel so please uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification be bell to receive my new courses i will put new courses later soon so don't forget to like share and comment and see you in the next projects